Recently, I converted my 2015 Subaru Outback into an SUV camper by building a super easy DIY sleeping platform with the help of my dad. I'll include a link to the video below showing the video of the actual build. In this video, I'm gonna show you my SUV camping setup, including my sleeping system, cooking system, kitchen area, and all of my gear and accessories for car camping. Before we get started, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit that bell icon to get notified anytime I add a new video. Hey guys, my name is Kathleen, former PCT through hiker, avid Pacific North West Day Hiker and the Hungry Hiker here on YouTube. And this is my 2015 Subaru Outback Lucy, my adventure mobile and car camping extraordinaire. And here is my SUV camping setup. Starting with the back of the car, I've got my sleeping system, which consists of a queen-size 2-inch memory foam topper that's been slightly cut down to fit the back of my car and the top of my sleeping platform perfectly. On top of my memory foam topper, I have a queen-size down comforter along with this duvet cover and two pillows. Underneath the comforter, I used an old fitted sheet to cover the memory foam topper. Around the perimeter of my interior ceiling, I have a 30-foot string of camping lights that are powered by USB. I just use my battery bank to power them whenever I want them on. The lights give the inside of the car a nice fun touch but they're also quite practical. When it's dark out they actually provide a good amount of light making it so I don't need to use the dome lights inside of my car. When having the hatchback open be sure to turn off both of your dome lights otherwise you risk the possibility of draining your car battery which I did and quickly prompted me to buy jumper cables that now will always live on the inside of my car wherever I go. Moving on to the outside on top of my car I have a pod. Most people will use these to carry their skis or snowboards in. I also use my pod for extra storage when car camping. I have things in there like an extra bin full of camping gear I might need, hiking, trekking poles, and a sport umbrella which I use to rest on top of my hatch whenever it's open, whenever it's raining outside. This massive rain canopy umbrella acts like an awning by giving me extra space in the back by keeping this whole area covered and dry when it's raining and snowing outside. Now to the rear doors. On each side behind the driver and front passenger seats, you can see that I have the sleeping platform goes all the way up behind the seats. Having the sleeping platform fully extended doesn't require me to move the seats forward at all. Underneath the platform, there's a custom block on each side helping to support the sleeping platform along with a custom created centerpiece that actually attaches to the platform with two screws. 
Down below on both sides of the platform, there's lots of extra storage space. Underneath the platform is a great spot to store shoes. Then behind the driver's seat, I keep my RTIC one gallon water jug along with an eight quart soft day cooler along with my universal car side window sunshades that help keep the sun and bugs out when I want to keep the windows down during the summer months. In addition to the one gallon water jug, I also have a five gallon water storage cube that folds down flat once it's empty. I also like the pour spout to use for washing dishes, washing my hands, and brushing my teeth. Super convenient. On the other side, behind the front passenger seat, I keep my RTIC 20 quart hard cooler. I also opted to get the 20 quart hard cooler basket to keep smaller items inside along with ice packs to keep everything inside cold instead of using bags of ice which eventually melt and need to be drained from the cooler. In the back of my car underneath the sleeping platform I have even more storage space. Under this area I have two 32 quart size clear storage bins. One bin contains all of my car camping kitchen and cooking gear and the other bin contains all of my dry non-perishable food items like spices, sauces, and even my backcountry canister stove. When I push both of these bins all the way back into the space I still have a lot of room left for more storage. In this area, I keep my Coleman two burner propane stove, paper towels, my Osprey toiletry bag, my camp chair, and a Bluetooth wireless speaker along with more Ziploc bags. On each side of the platform in the back, I have more storage space. So on one side, I have a propane tank for my stove, ice scraper, and two adjustable legs for my kitchen table. Then on the other side of the platform, I have cable chains for my car because some of the places I like to go to in the winter like Mount Rainier or Mount Baker require that you always carry chains in your car during the winter months. When my dad and I were putting together the design for the SUV camper build and the sleeping platform for my Subaru Outback, there were some features that were super important to me that I wanted to make sure were included. I knew I wouldn't have a whole lot of headroom and storage space once the sleeping platform was built and installed, so I wanted to make sure the space I did have was efficient and to try and create as much extra storage space as I could. With my SUV camper build, I now have storage space underneath the platform in the back, underneath the platform on top of the back seats, the whole area behind the driver's side and front passenger seats, and in my pod up on top. For when I'm dispersed camping and I don't have access to a picnic table, adding the pull-out kitchen table with adjustable legs was a genius idea of my dad's. Not only would I always have a flat surface to cook on, but the table itself folds back onto the sleeping platform flat and doesn't take up any additional space inside the car. I didn't want to take my back seats out. I wanted to have the option of still being able to carry passengers if I needed to. The sleeping platform is easy to fold up onto itself and stores in the back of the car behind the back seats. If I need to, I can also easily take the sleeping platform out of the back of my car myself without needing help to do it. But my intention is to always have the platform stay in my car at all times, whether it's folded up behind the back seats or fully extended into its sleep ready position. I have spent many nights sleeping in my car before building out the sleeping platform and they haven't all been comfortable. I wanted to make sure with the build out that I'd be able to sleep comfortably and warm in my car all year round even when camping in the snow. I opted for the memory foam topper because it's comfortable and I wouldn't have to worry about it popping and could easily customize the size to fit the back of my car perfectly. Did I mention how freaking comfortable this thing is? As for warmth, I got a nice warm down comforter with a duvet cover and a couple pillows. I have my picnic blanket at the foot of my sleeping area and for the really cold nights I bring along with me a fleece blanket to put on top. For extra ambiance I decided to hang up a 30 foot string of camp lights powered by USB through my battery bank. And to hang the camp lights on the ceiling of the inside of my car I used command self-adhesive decorating clips. Being a solo female traveler, it was important to me to be able to block out light coming into my car while sleeping, as well as create more privacy for myself while inside my car. I got the WeatherTech Sunshades full vehicle kit to cover my windows, and I love them. They do a phenomenal job of blocking out light coming into my car when parked in a parking lot and off the side of the road. I also love how they completely black out my windows and give me a ton of privacy. They're customized for my vehicle and cover each of the windows on the inside of my car. They're reversible. With the silver side facing out, this keeps the heat out of the car. And with the black side facing out, this helps keep heat inside of the car. They're super easy to put up in the windows and take down. When I'm done using them, I just store them up in my pod. 
The WeatherTech window coverings were just a much more space efficient option for me compared to curtains, which would limit the space I had inside my car. So that's it for my SUV camping setup. Hope you guys enjoy checking out my SUV camping setup, including my sleeping system, cooking system, kitchen area, and all of my gear and accessories for car camping. I'll make sure to include links for all the gear and accessories I mentioned in this video down in the description bar below. Stay tuned for upcoming videos where I'll take you along with me on some of my solo car camping adventures. If you like this video, Video, give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already subscribe to my youtube channel thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video happy trails and keep on trucking